Hi, my name is Baron Flieger. I'm the Vice President of Marketing for Localytics. Thank you for joining us for another Whiteboard Wednesday session today. Our topic today is app funnel management. So we want to help uh, give some advice on what steps you can take to optimize your, your conversions and managing your funnels directly within your apps. So let's start off by taking a look at the traditional view of how we as marketeers look at funnel management. So in a B2B environment, we would typically think about suspects and the conversions to prospects, to leads, opportunities, and then deals slash customers. And we would certainly track every single step along the way to identify how well we're converting, what those conversion rates are, and what money we're spending at each stage. In the app world, our conversion funnels look very differently. So let's take a look. Take an example of an e-commerce company. An e-commerce company typically would be most interested in understanding how much does it cost to bring people into the app for people then to launch the app and ultimately going from, let's say, a product view to people going to the cart and then converting into actual paid customers. In a news app, that may look completely different. For a news app, your conversion might be more around getting people into the app, having them look at an article, and then either becoming a subscribed customer or sharing an article with a friend because in the news world, it's all around advertising dollars. So being able to see exactly what people are doing in the app might be helpful to drive those advertising dollars. So with that, there are certainly ways how the app world functions differently because unlike your traditional marketing automation tools, within the app you don't have page views, you have certain events that take place. So for you to understand your, your funnels, you'd have to start by defining your hypotheses of what people are going to do within the app. The way to do that ideally is by having an analytical solution that can help you track what people are actually doing within your app. We talked about certain steps here for, for an e-commerce app. The beautiful thing here is once you've defined your, your events and your steps, and once your analytical solution can help you track how people are converting, you have very detailed information on what the conversion percentages are at each step. Why is that important and how can that help? If you have that information, you can then focus on either optimizing your conversions. So for example, in the e-commerce um, scenario that we drew up, you might change actual functionality within your app or you might show certain screens earlier rather than later to optimize this conversion or you might change the way that your card is, uh, is built or, or shown to your customers in order to drive that quicker. The other opportunity that an analytical solution will give you is you can do very, very detailed user segmentation. So as an example, let's say you're spending advertising dollars on Facebook, on certain other ad advertising networks. You can then compare how well are my users converting based on where they came from. So you could, for example, determine that your Facebook ads are much more valuable because your conversion rates are higher and ultimately leading to higher revenue at the end of the funnel. So that could be very interesting for you as well. The other method that you can use to ultimately drive your conversion might be to leverage in-app messaging. What we mean by that is your ability to, based on those segments you've defined, and sending clear messages out to certain sub-segments of your user base to drive this conversion. Example might be, coming back to the e-commerce example, you might have certain people who are stuck at that cart level and who haven't completed a purchase. So you could run an in-app message to everyone who's sitting at that stage with a special 10% promotion to uh, ultimately drive them to that conversion. So with that quick summary, key thing about app funnel management, one, Ideally, define your hypotheses. Be very clear on what you think those steps are. Make sure you have an analytical solution that can help you understand if your hypotheses are true. And three, potentially look at leveraging in-app marketing uh, solutions that can help you drive actual communication and very personalized interaction with your consumers. With that, thank you again for joining us today. And we look forward to welcoming you very soon again for another Whiteboard Wednesday. Thank you.